Hello everybody, I am Dr. Anil Kamath. I am a surgical oncologist here at Helios Cancer Clinic. Now recently most of you all might have heard of a drug which is very difficult to pronounce. This drug is called Dostarlimab. And there was a lot of news in newspapers and on WhatsApp uh, that this is a miracle drug to cure rectal cancer. So I would like to just mention a few points to clarify doubts about this drug because I got queries from many of my patients who were rectal cancer patients whether this will work for them. Now this let's see what category this drug belongs to. It belongs to the category of drug known as immunotherapy. Now we know about chemotherapy which works in cancer. This is a more different form of uh, this one where uh, it, it enhances the patient's immune system to detect the cancerous cells and destroy it. It is a relatively new drug form and it is coming up but not yet proven in most of the cases. So what is special about this drug that it caused so much uproar or so much uh, 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 this one among uh, people? First, it was presented during the recent ASCO meet which happens in Chicago where they did a phase, early phase study, phase 1 or phase 2, where they tested in about 12 patients and these patients had excellent response and they did not need surgery, radiation or chemotherapy. Is it really that effective? Let me dig a little bit into detail. First of all, it is a early phase study which is done on a very limited patients. Of course, the results are excellent since it worked in almost 100% of the patients. But we must remember that drugs have to go through the regular phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3 trial. If you start adopting drugs just based on a small studies, you might have catastrophic results. So I would say it is still very early to tell that this drug will be effective in the larger population. Second, this drug was used in a specific subset of rectal cancer in those who had the MSI defect or microsatellite instability defect. And out of all rectal cancers, only about 5% of the patients will have this defect. So unless a patient belongs to the specific subcategory of patients who has this defect, this drug is unlikely to be effective. And most of the rectal cancers we see will not have this MSI defect and so the drug is unlikely to work. It is only in this small subset that this study has been done. So that is the second point to be considered that it might not be even if it is effective. First of all the effectiveness is still to be proven and even if it is effective it might not be effective in all the rectal cancer patients. The third point to be considered is the availability of the drug in India. As of now, this drug is not available. It is only available in USA and uh, not available easily to the general public. And even if it is to be got to India, it might be exorbitantly expensive. If I am not wrong, the drug may cost anything between 10 to 15 lakhs per dose. And this has to be given every three weekly. And the study has been done for a minimum of six months. So you can see that the calculation that it worked, the cost will be beyond the reach of most patients. So what do I suggest? Of course, this trial is exciting, but it should be only for the consumption of medical professionals. Till more studies are done and till it comes out in a proper manner, I feel that people and also newspapers should act more responsibly and uh, refrain from outright publicity of this drug as a miracle cure. The standard treatment of rectal cancer, which is surgery, chemotherapy and radiation, as of now there is no change to these recommendations. Maybe at some time in future down the line it may, but as of now my recommendation is to just follow the standard cancer guidelines. Thank you.